Hey y'all, it's Sierra, AKA Capricorn Moon Goddess back with another video for you all. This is a reading for the collective. So you are going to want to take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? Um, use your own intuition and discernment to determine which messages are for you and which messages don't apply to you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Woo child, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through this reading because it just be so much going on in my own life right now, but we about to see if I can get through it. I got a new deck, so I wanna use my new deck, okay? The Rhythm and Soul Tarot. Um, just got this in the mail today. I bought it from Kickstarter from um, a creator. I have two of her other decks, so yeah. We are starting with the Three of Jazz, which the Jazz is Wands in this deck. So the Three of Wands, essentially the Nine of Jazz, which is the Nine of Wands, the Fool, and Ace of Axes, and I believe Axes are Swords in this deck, okay? So Three of Wands, Nine of Wands, The Fool, and The Ace of Swords. This is letting me know that you all have a breakthrough that is coming. Um, a lot of this is going to be like a mental type of breakthrough. So with this Nine of Wands, you may have been through a lot mentally. Um, you may have dealt with a lot of frustration. You may have dealt with having to put in a lot of work, like physical work, like a lot of action towards getting something accomplished maybe you've had to have like two or three jobs to be able to make ends meet um something about having to do a lot of extra work lately you're basically going to be getting a break so this reading is for people who have gone through a lot mentally physically emotionally financially just have had a lot on your plate for several months to a year at least you're going to be getting a break yay so i'm happy to see this um you're gonna have a reason to celebrate soon you're gonna have a reason to uh chill like it's like things are about to get a lot uh lighter for you okay so you may have been dealing with a lot of heavy energy um but yeah things are about to get a lot lighter and you'll be able to think more clearly so if you haven't been able to concentrate if you haven't been able to tap into your creativity um if you've had a problem and you felt like i just cannot figure out what the solution is you're going to be finding new solutions um to issues you're dealing with but yeah just overall just having a lighter type of energy here like we're going from the jazz here like, which is more like rich, heavier type energy to the full. You see there's a child here. Like, just being able to relax. Being able to rest. So, I feel like I'm talking to hard workers. Oh, we got the sun. Okay. And we got the sun card that came out. So, yes, if you've been, like, unhappy for a while, not necessarily just super depressed, but just not in the best space um like i said you've been in grind mode a lot of you um some really good things are about to start happening you're about to start seeing things that you may have been manifesting for a year or longer like just now starting to actualize and materialize it may even be some things you forgot that you were manifesting that are going to start happening um i went and looked at one of my old email inboxes for an email i don't even use anymore something just told me to go look in it today and i saw some correspondence in there about some basically like some money that i might be able to get access to or something and it was just like this is something i wanted a while ago i forgot about it They've been emailing this old email. I just decided to look at it and I see like, oh, I might have some more money coming in. Okay, like I wouldn't even think about that no more. So y'all might start seeing things like that um, start to happen. We got this five of jazz, which is the five of wands. I swear, like I cannot get rid of this card every time I do a reading. This stupid five of wands competitive type energy is always out here are these stuck together no this is one card okay so we got seven of blue so i'm believing the blues are cups so five of wands seven of cups 
Seven of Cups is about having options. So you're going to have a lot of different options and pathways that are opening up for you. Okay. Um, you may even have different um, jobs competing for you as far as like you're getting multiple offers for different jobs. So you get to choose the job you want or uh, you get offered multiple different positions. Like I've worked jobs before where I've been offered like multiple positions for different departments and I got to choose like which department I wanted to go to. So yeah, some of you have numerous job offers that are coming in. You're going to have a lot of people wanting to work with you. We've got 10 of blues, which is the 10 of cups here. Some of you are about to have this white picket, like American dream type of life. Uh, the family life that you're wanting now granted it may not be with people that you're blood related to so you may not have this happy ending family with your blood relatives it may be with chosen family okay meaning friends family people who aren't necessarily blood related to you but act more like family than your actual family does so you can still have this all-american family life even if it's not with blood relatives, I think some of you are starting to realize that now. So um, you're going to have some family members that you are cutting off trying to get back in. Okay, with this five of wands, they're going to try to get back in there once they see like things are starting to open up for you. Roads are starting to open up for you. Um, six of roots. So this is what? Pentacles. It's funny we get roots and I'm talking about family, okay? So six of roots, which I'm going to say roots is pentacles. So like I said, people are going to try to be nice now. Now she's trying to come over here with the biscuits and offer you biscuits and this and that. These family members and friends that didn't want to treat you right, you decide you're going to cut them off and make your own family with people who actually want the best for you. Now they want to come back and try to get back in good. So yeah, you're going to have people trying to get back in good with you. Four of jazz, which is four of wands. Okay, so this is partying. This is having fun. This is letting your hair down. Like I said, I'm talking to a group of people that are very, very hard workers. And now it's time for you to just chill. It's time for you to have fun. You basically laid the foundation. Um... You know how they say, what do they say? Work hard now, play later. I don't know. Something like something like that to where you sacrificed having fun. You sacrificed uh, being able to do what you wanted to do, being able to live a reckless life. You may have had to grow up very, very fast. Maybe you didn't get to like enjoy your 20s. You had to go to work. You had to take care of your kids if you had kids. You had to take care of your family or whatever. So you had to sacrifice some pleasures in life in order to set yourself up for greatness. So now that you're getting a little bit older, you're about to see like things start to open up for you. Um, you might be like the type that might even get to like even retire early because of all the hard work you've been putting in. We got the Ace of Axes. What's Axes? Swords. So Ace of Axes here. She's got these microphones around her. So it's something about not being afraid anymore. Okay. Um, not being afraid to step into your power. Some of you are meant to be public speakers. I keep telling y'all this. Some of y'all are meant to be public speakers or using your voice or having a public platform. Um, you may not have been comfortable with that before, but now you're starting to like really like step into the role that you're supposed to be playing when it comes to that. Yeah, and then we got the soul card, which this is an extra card. So let me see what that means. Because um, she has a few extra cards in here that aren't a part of the traditional tarot. But again, she's up here. Both of these cards they're on stage so you literally went from this you see how she's got the blindfolds on she's got all these microphones around but she's like afraid to actually like go for it but you're going from this to this now look at this look at the contrast she's grabbed the mic she's comfortable yes she has her eyes closed but she don't have a blindfold on 
she's comfortable. So you're getting comfortable stepping into your power and you being comfortable stepping into your power is making a lot of other people uncomfortable, okay? But let me also see what she says about this soul card. Since it's an extra card, that's not a part of the tarot. Hopefully I can find it, child. <sighs> Hopefully I can find it in here. Okay. Soul, spirit, devotion, essence, spark, inner life, truth, sentience. You know what music is? God's little reminder that there's something else besides us in the universe. Harmonic connection between all living beings everywhere, even the stars. Robin Williams. Oh, Robin Williams, the comedian. Okay. I, I just feel like he had a very gentle energy about himself. Um... It says, the soul is the essence of our true nature as divine beings. They say when you listen to the silence between the notes, you can really find your true self. If you embrace moments of stillness and quietude, you can slowly drift closer to your center, away from the noise of modern life and all its trappings and expectations. Wander through the space of silence, being open and receptive to your emotions. It is within this realm that we uncover our true selves, but only if we are unburdened by the outside world. There is music and silence, and we come to appreciate what resides within us when we listen. How can we separate ourselves from the mundane to access the sublime? How can we travel away from the surface just long enough to explore the depths? Soul is what pierces through our artificial defenses and clarifies what is true. Soul as a music genre is based in the blending of R&B with traditional gospel music styles in both lyrical content and instrumentation. That began in the 1950s. The term soul is also a term used among black people to put a word. <laughs> By the way, the creator of this deck is white. But yeah, you can see she's a southern. She's got southern flair to her. Okay. The term soul is also a term used among black people to put a word to the essential spark of humanity that one must strive for in the United States where racism prevails everywhere you turn. May your soul bloom wild and free. Um, hmm. I feel like that really didn't too much sum up the card. So I probably didn't even re really need to read all that. But again, this is the first time I'm using this deck. I think it is it's what I said intuitively, which is you're going from being like afraid to like really step into your power to like really embracing your power. Okay. Embracing your gifts, walking in your purpose, and singing your song. See, part of you um, taking your power back is singing your song, a.k.a. telling your story. And this is why some people are getting nervous because they are, you know, in the villain role. They play the villain in your story, so they don't want you to expose them. You inevitably expose them by singing your song, telling your story, okay? So some people are trying to prevent you from being able to speak. Um, we got passion, which is the strength card. So, like I said, confidence. This is also representing Leo. You have a confidence, a new confidence about yourself. Um, I feel like it's always been there, but you may not have necessarily wanted people to see it or you didn't really want it to show. But now you're like not being apologetic about you're a very talented person. You're beautiful. You're intelligent. You're handsome. Uh, this person is playing the violin like you are not about to dim your light for other people to feel better anymore period point blank okay you are that guy and you are that girl and it is okay you've done the work to be able to have that title you can back up what you what you say people want to compete with you and people want to pretend like they're better than you and this and that well if you want to be better than me, be better than me. 
But all of this extra stuff that people have been doing to try to bring you down, because they, they know they're not better than you. Because if they were better than you, they would simply just be better than you. But because they're not better than you, they have to try to talk down on your name. They have to try to throw salt in your game. They got to try to throw roadblocks and all these different obstacles in your way. And you have proven to be resilient throughout it all. Your resilience and your confidence has taken you very far. Your faith has taken you very far. Knight of Roots. What did I say Roots was? I said Roots was Pinnacle. So yeah, this is a long time coming. Knight of Pinnacles is long time coming. Okay, I used to play the violin. Okay, and what you had to do when you was in orchestra, you had to practice every single day. You had to practice every day so you could learn the notes, learn the music, all of that stuff. So you've been doing, like I said, a lot of work, a lot of practice, and it's about to pay off for you. We've got the Ten of Axes, which is Swords. It's paying off for you, and this is breaking somebody's heart. Like, this is literally breaking somebody down. You see, these guitars are broken. Like, you stepping into your power is literally breaking someone else down. It's breaking down their facade. That's what it is. It's, you're breaking down somebody's facade. And you're breaking down the lies people have told about you. You may have wanted to defend yourself. If you've been hearing about certain lies people have been telling, you may have wanted to defend yourself. But she decided, you know what? I'm going to let my work speak for itself. I'm going to let my ethics and my morals speak for themselves. I'm going to let the, the changes that are happening in my life speak for itself. Like People are going to find out who I really am and they're going to know that People have been slandering me and lying on me just by the fruits of my labor. So you're letting the, the fruits of your labor speak for you instead of just trying to go out and defend yourself. Um, so that was very smart and that's going to pay off. We've got the King of Jazz and the Ace of Jazz. So King of Wands, Ace of Wands. Okay, so Aces are what? New opportunities. So we keep having Aces. We've got the Sun card. So just a lot of new opportunities are coming to you um like i said your creativity is going to be blossoming even more if you've had any creative blocks those are going to be just totally lifted um stepping in your power king mode here okay so i like these cards i really do like these cards i'm glad i invested in this uh deck this is my first time using these cards i just got them today we got the Queen of Wands on the bottom. So we got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands that came out. So some of you are coming into union as well. Like your love life is going to be taking a turn for the better. Um, so yeah, a lot of good things are going to be happening. Um, but it's going to cause like the opposite effects for people that have been working against you. So I've been saying this for a very long time. It's going to be very parallel. It's going to be like you're going up and they're going down. Like it's like a seesaw, like you're up and they're going down. So that's why they don't want you to be successful because they know that they basically tried to steal your destiny. They basically tried to take what was yours. So now that you taking your stuff back, like, no, I'm claiming what's for me. They tried to claim what was for you. And you're claiming what's for you. So now, inevitably, they're going downhill. All right, so we're going to use the Southern Botanical Order Oracle, which is by the same person that just that made the uh, tarot deck I was using. So let's see. Let's see how they work together. I wanted to use her other deck too, but I couldn't find it because I have another one. Okay, so we have healing, protection, vulnerability, threat, veneration, and legacy. So a lot of you are doing the work that's going to heal your bloodline we have healing protection vulnerability threat veneration and legacy a lot of you especially if you've been doing ancestor work because we have veneration so if you've been venerating your ancestors 
um, they're a strong force behind you because you're literally the person in the family that's doing the work to heal the bloodlines. Like, if they have to reincarnate, they want to reincarnate into the family again, but like have like a better bloodline, you know, like a better path or something. So you're you're doing work that's going to be helping your bloodline, you know, way, way further down the line. So you are protected. That's why people don't understand how protected you are. You're so protected because you are literally protecting your legacy. So your ancestors have your back. You're doing the healing work that needs to be done. Healing the generational curses and all of that. Um, so, of course, you probably have ruffled some fam some feathers within your family. We've got sugar, maple, information, and lo knowledge. You may have found out some information that, or family secrets that people didn't want to get out. So, it's ruffling people's feathers. Um... But also, you're the one in the family that has the information and the knowledge that's needed to heal the family. You're thinking about future generations, not just thinking about yourself. A lot of family members that um, are the crab in the barrel type, they just think about themselves. They're not thinking about taking care of future generations. And you're thinking about taking care of future generations. This is bothering people. We got poison ivy. It says irritability and profanity okay you may have gotten into a screaming match argument gotten cussed out by a family member or something like that or they want to they want to cuss you out because <laughs> you think you know everything they think you think you know everything they think you think you're better than them yeah you're gonna have to let them go hickory release let go you're gonna have to let go of family members who cannot be respectful when they are communicating with you they don't know how to talk to you without cussing you out calling you out your name this and that time to let it go like we're in a season where god ain't playing about us and our ancestors ain't playing about us and our spirit guides ain't playing about us and they not finna sit back and let us continue to take abuse It's going to be to the point where you're going to start getting punished by God or your higher power. If you keep letting people talk to you crazy and treat you any kind of way and, and allow them to have access to you, you don't have to cuss them back out. You don't have to argue with them. You don't have to hold a grudge. But what you do need to do is cut off their access to you. And you're going to, you're going to suffer if you don't. This is. This is not a game because you are too important. You're too important of a player as far as helping your future generations, healing your bloodline, and raising the vibration on this planet, quite frankly. It's bigger than you and your family. You're too important of a player to keep letting people hold you back and hold you down. So it's getting to the point where God is ripping things apart, ripping relationships apart. If you don't want to go gently, then your higher power, your ancestors just going to rip everything up. It's going, you ain't going to have no choice. Okay. So we got suspicion, turmoil, and then reliance and friendship. Angels, trumpet, and ghost pipe. So yeah, some of y'all have friends that y'all are suspicious of. You suspicious of them for a reason. They're not a good player. Like they're 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 a villain. They're a villain. It's time to start letting these people go. We got butter beans, time cycles. Let's get out of these these same karmic cycles where we keep going back to people and dealing with people that we have suspicions of. We know by now. We can trust our intuition. You're around people who don't want you to trust your intuition. We got uh joe pie or joe peeweed perceptiveness and vision you got people that don't want you to trust your intuition you know what you're feeling you know these people ain't right you know you feel the side eye from them you know you feel the jealousy and this and that they don't want you to listen to your own intuition it's time for you to start listening to your own intuition better safe than sorry of course i'm not saying be um paranoid and suspicious of everybody 
Okay, family, bloodline, whatever I've been saying. But it's some family members and friends that you need to let go of. We have family, bloodline, and we have hero, icon. Did I not say you're too, empower, you're too important of a player to your family, to your bloodline, to raise the, gener the, the uh, vibration of the universe? You're a part of this hero. And I was thinking about the Avengers too. So you're literally like one of the people on the planet that's meant to raise the vibration. Because you have the knowledge, you have the maturity, you have the ambition. You have all of the things that are needed in order to do that. So your family and friends better stop messing around trying to bring you down because they're going to have to deal with divine justice. They're going to have to deal with karma because they're trying to interfere with your mission. We have Rose, love on the bottom and then High John, the conqueror, power and command like some of them don't want you to have real, genuine love in your life. They don't want you to be able to experience that because then you would really be able to see that they really had no love for you at all. When you start seeing what real love is, real support, then you can see, oh, the people I had around me this whole time, they really didn't love me. They really didn't support me. They really didn't care about me. They don't want you to have happiness. You have to start getting rid of people that want to stay in stagnancy and want to stay bitter. If you're around people who are not happy with their lives, but they have the power to change their circumstances and they have decided that they're not going to, that's a dangerous type of person to be around. Because they're going to want you to do the same. People have issues and problems with you because you want better for your life and you take the action that are needed to get better. You don't sit around just wishing all day, hoping and wishing and dreaming. You actually put work and action behind the things you want to do. And that's why you see the results. They mad at you because you see the results. You get exactly what you want. It may not happen how you want it or when you want it, but it ends up always working out for you. No matter what. Because you put in the work. And you're dealing with people who don't want to put in the work, but they want to still be able to get the same results as you or better. It don't work like that. We got rebellion, upstart, tumult, revulsion, and then we got nightmares, psychic protection, shield, bad dreams. Yes, you're going to have to protect yourself because there's people who are not going to be able to handle your glow up. This is sounds crazy that people would literally lose their mind just because you're doing well in life but it's a thing it happens jealousy and envy is a very dangerous thing and it's a very strong emotion okay we have that death will come mortal finite fragile i'm trying to tell you these people need to stop playing because it's not even going to be in your hands in a minute like god is going to step in in a minute like you keep playing you keep trying to harm you keep trying to harm my my divine people that i got on this planet to help the planet out reason listen to advice think clearly intellect these are the type of people that don't want to reason they won't they come to you complaining about their life you give them great sound advice they don't want to take your advice they want to the definition of insanity they want to keep doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results you decide to take your own advice you see the results that you want then they get mad at you crazy we have the past a prison, bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. You have somebody holding a grudge against you. Somebody's very, very bitter. And this is a person that does a lot of projection. So they probably say these things to you. Like they probably say you're holding a grudge. Thirst, craving, compulsion, obsession. The consuming family pressure appears. 
all right y'all so i gotta go but i'll come back when i can to finish the rest of this reading so what i'll do i probably because i'll be putting it up in parts anyway on tiktok so i'm probably gonna cut this one up put some parts up and then i'll finish it and then i'll put the other parts up so that way y'all can just watch it because that's how i usually do it anyway so anyways thank you for taking the time to watch please like share and subscribe and stay tuned for part two toodles